Do you ever feel stupid for everything that you've been put through? Do you ever feel discouraged at wondering why you stayed so long? At wondering, how did I deal with this? How did I put up with all the abuse, all the trauma, all the, the lies, the manipulation? Like, why did I put up with that for such a long period of time? You might have had some of these questions pop up. You might have had these thoughts pass through your head as you've looked back on the relationships that you've been a part of or as you look back at the relationship with this toxic person that was in your life. Because a lot of times when I'm sitting down with people and doing a one-on-one -on -one and kind of helping them work through either their trauma or closure or to get out of a trauma bond, there's a lot of times that people kind of look back at the past and they're like, oh, I was so stupid. Like, why did I let this person do this to me? Like, why did I put up with that for so long? Like, why did I keep trying when they didn't show it back? Like, why? And a lot of times people start going down the road of like self-hate and degrading talk to themselves because they start judging the past based on the knowledge of the present. And that can be a really dangerous place to be. Do you have those thoughts? Do you have those questions? You see, a lot of times people look back at everything that's happened and they look back at the abuse and they look back at the lies and the gaslighting and manipulation. And they actually have the words to describe it then. Instead of it just feeling crazy, instead of them feeling like they've lost their mind, instead of them feeling like they don't know what's going on and they don't know reality, they can actually start to take a look as they take back their power and start realizing, hey, this is actually truth. These are actually the facts. This is the situation that I was in. This is the abuse that I experienced. This is the trauma that I was put through. And when they start acknowledging that and when they start seeing that, it starts to build an aspect of a way to have freedom and a way to get control back in their life versus someone else manipulating and controlling them. But when that clarity comes, when that knowledge comes of knowing, hey, this is actually what happened, sometimes it'll start messing with your mind a little bit. And sometimes you'll start thinking, I should have known. I don't know how many times I talk with people on one-on-ones and as we get to the realization, as they start to look back at the years, the months, the weeks, the decades that they've been with another person that hurt and abused them, they start to think in their head, I should have known or how could I have not known? How could I have not seen that? Like my family told me this, my friends told me this, like I noticed that at this time, I noticed that this time I excused away as immaturity or not understanding or having low empathy or low feelings, all this kind of stuff. Like how could I have not known? How could I have not seen it? And a lot of times people will judge the past based on their current knowledge. If that's you today, I want you to take a moment, take a step back. And pause, and I want you to think. A lot of times, one person I talked to the other day, they described it as they've been in the school of narcissism. Like they've been learning and developing more of a knowledge and understanding about narcissism and how it's affected their lives based on the trauma and the abuse that they've been a part of. So with this person, that they're in the school of narcissism. They're, they're getting their um, first couple of grades out of the way. They're getting their college degree. They're getting their bachelor's degree. Like they're learning stuff about narcissism. And all this knowledge that stacks up, I want you to think of this. All the knowledge that you have about narcissism right now and the person that abused you and the person that hurt you, all that knowledge that you have right now, six months ago, a year ago, five years ago, did you have that knowledge? You didn't. Because in that time, you had no clue. You might not even known what narcissism was. You might not even known what was going on. You might not even known the abuse that was happening that you didn't even recognize as abuse because it felt like love. It felt like a bond. It felt like a connection. But in reality, it was trauma and it was manipulation and it was emotional abuse. And you have to take a moment and you have to give yourself grace. You have to give yourself grace to understand, hey, I came to this realization and I have this knowledge now, but six months, a year, two, five years ago, I didn't have this knowledge. And I can't hold myself accountable for things I did not know in the past. It's so easy for you to start down that road of, of blaming and, and hurting yourself with that thought, with those ideas. And I want to encourage you to stop and to take a step back and to give yourself grace thinking, hey, it's okay that I didn't know this. 
Now, the trauma and everything I experienced, like, that's not okay. Totally get that. I'm not making light of that, and I'm not saying it's less than what it is. I'm not at all. But what I'm saying is you didn't know. And there's an aspect that you have to give yourself a little bit of grace there so that you can come back and you continue to move on, continue to grow, continue to gain, and take back your power to become the person that you know you need to be. So many times people get stuck with the idea of why did my narcissist do this? Like, why did they do this? Like, how could they do this to another person? Like, how? Like, it doesn't make sense in my mind. Why could they do this to someone else? And they get so caught up in trying to understand the why and the how they forget the who. They forget who they are. Because the narcissist over a period of time strips away your ego, your confidence, your safety, your security. And slowly you give away yourself more and more to the narcissist in hopes that you build a connection there. But in reality, all they're doing is just taking more of you. And you're left changing for a person who didn't care. And by the time you're done, the person you were at times feels like it doesn't even exist. There's a way out and there's hope. But you have to first start at a place where you can give grace to yourself that you didn't know all this knowledge. You didn't have all this information back then. You do now. So what are you going to do with it today? And how are you going to change your life today one step at a time? You see, you've been struggling with a narcissist and with triggers in that toxic relationship and triggers that have sent you spiraling and triggers that have sent you to a place that's dark, a, a place that's depressing, a place that's sad, a place that's pining away, a place that's very, very confused. So it's time for us to start creating some new triggers. It's time for us to create some positive triggers, some positive things in your life that bring out the joy, that bring out the satisfaction, that bring out your confidence, that bring you to the place where you need to be in confidence and self-healing and growth. And that can happen. We have to do the work. We have to work on the, the bad triggers. We have to work on those triggers that send us spiraling. We have to work on those triggers that send us back thinking about the narcissist to the narcissist. And we have to start thinking, how do we start building in positivity? How do we start building in joy? How do we start building in confidence into our everyday lives, into our everyday routine? And let's start to illustrate and put those triggers into practice on a day-to-day -day basis. Because that's how you're going to continue to set yourself apart from the abuse and the trauma that happened. And that's how you'll start to set yourself free of where you need to go and of where you need to be to be the person that you were meant to be. So take a moment. Look back. Think of everything that's happened. Think of where you are now and say, wow. I'm so glad I have this knowledge. I'm so glad I know this now. Take a moment, experience some gratitude, experience some joy in the fact that you have more knowledge now than what you did six months, a year, five years ago. And that knowledge for you gives you more power than the narcissist will ever have over you because of the fact of this. If you can know it and you can understand it, you can change it. And that's more to say than what the narcissist will be able to do because they won't acknowledge it, they won't be honest, and they won't change. You're the person who can change, but it starts with you. It starts with your perspective. It starts with your looking through life and saying, hey, this is what happened to me. I acknowledge that. I understand that. And I'm going to continue to strive forward to develop new positive triggers and new things in my life that will help me continue that path of healing, growth, and change. If you've been on my platform long enough, you know that's what I'm about bringing awareness of narcissism, healing, growth, and change. And I do that on a day-to-day -day basis when I sit down with people in one-on-ones and talk through the things that they've gone through, talk through all the shit that the narcissist has put them through. And we take a look at it and we're like, hey, this has happened. Let's acknowledge it because if we acknowledge it and deal with the facts, it starts to clear the fog. And the fog that the narcissist puts on you is real and is thick and is heavy and is very confusing. And it's a manipulation tool and manipulation tactic that keeps you searching. And often you'll only hear their voice pulling you out. And all they do is just lead you in circles. So let's work on some positive triggers. Let's work on some positive things that are going to bring you closer to joy. They're bringing you closer to you. If you want to do this, I work with people on a day-to-day -day basis helping them with that. 
You can go to my website, rawmotivations.com. You can click the link down below in the description to be able to schedule one-on-one -on -one with me. would love to be able to talk with you and interact with you to help coach you to be your best self to help have you understand from a narcissist perspective what happened, to help give you closure about what all went on, to help you break free from a trauma bond. That's why I'm on here, to bring awareness, growth, healing, and change. Check out the NARC app, Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Community. It's on Apple and on uh, Google Play. Would love to have you interact with there, or if you're listening today on Spotify or on Apple Podcasts. Just give a couple ratings or reviews so that we can spread the news about narcissism and how it affects people out there.